Hello guys, you're welcome to the Lara Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Android Barcode. A barcode is an optical machine readable representation of data. The data usually describes something about the object that carries the barcode. Our uh, which will be creating an application that is going to actually read the figure on a barcode symbol. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have the source file of this particular application. We'll be talking about uh, the build gradle module app session. What about we have a major compile, which is the com.google android gms play services vision. That's the Google Play Services, the vision module 9.4.0. I'll be looking at the layout. What about we have the activity main, the barcode capture XML. Let's look at the activity main XML. This is a relative layout with a layout height match parent, padding right top bottom all 16 dps calling the context main activity there's a text view that that we have the text on it called click read barcode an id called status message a text view follows which has the barcode value this is actually going to show the barcode uh, figure after you might have captured the barcode symbol we have a button that, that has a text read barcode that actually uh takes us to the camera, call the camera intent, the, ca uh, the barcode camera activity, and uh, is actually going to enable us to capture the, the barcode itself. We have a checkbox because we need an autofocus for the camera. And if you want uh, the flash, you can have, uh, the, we have the checkbox for the flash as well. Let's look at the barcode capture XML. Uh, this is a linear layout with the layout with the night match parent. We have a tag called the camera source preview. This is called from the Java directory or as a Java class called camera source pre preview from the package UI camera. We have for the graphic overlay whereby we assign an ID to it called graphic overlay. This is the graphic of the camera itself and the closing camera source preview. From here, we'll be moving straight to the Java classes where we have the barcode capture activity, the barcode graphic. The main activity, the barcode graphic tracker and the barcode tracker factory, and also the package, the UI camera. Let's look at the main activity of this application. We imported the API common status codes and the barcode itself from the GMS vision. The main activity extends activity and implements the view on click listener. Whereby we're going to use a compound button, so either checkbox or switch widget will work. Whereby we have the autofocus, the use flash from the compound button, and the status message and barcode value from the text view. We initialize the RC ca barcode capture to 9001 and created a tag, a string tag called barcode main. Our all create method, we're going to set the content view to the layout activity main XML that I explained earlier. The status message, the barcode value, the autofocus, the new flash will be initialized based on this appropriate ID. And we're going to set an onclick listener to the read barcode. The onclick listener set on this barcode, wow, we're going to launch a barcode activity, which is an intent to the barcode capture activity. In this activity, we're going to put some extras based on the autofocus if it's checked and the use flash. We're going to start the activity for result, passing the intent and the RC barcode capture, which is the 9001 value. The on activity for result, we have the request code, the result code, and the data as the parameters passed in. If the request code equals to the RC barcode capture, which is 9001, and also testing the result code, if the common status code is success, and if the data is not equal to null, it's going to call the barcode capture activity else uh, there is going to be a string that no barcode no that is the barcode failure and else for the result code if is if the result code common status code is not success the status message is going to set the text to string that the error within the barcode let's look at the barcode capture activity this is where we have our back of uh, of the call, whereby we call on the UI camera source, the camera source preview, even some classes from the camera package, the graphic overlay, the multiprocessor from the GMS vision, the barcode from the GMS vision, and the barcode detector. 
This extends app compatibility where we have a tackle barcode reader, uh, the RC Android GMS in its instantiate to 9001. The RC Ando camera permission shouldn't be less than 256, so we assign two. And we have some constants that you use to pass the extra data into the intent, the autofocus, the use flash, the barcode objects. We call the M camera source from the uh, created an object from it from the camera source class. The same thing goes for the M preview from the camera source preview class and the M graphic overlay from the graphic overlay class. We also have the helper object for detecting taps and pinches, the scale gesture detector and the gesture detector So, Our create method call on the layout barcode capture XML, we instantiated the M preview, the M graphic overlay, calling on its appropriate ID, and we read the parameters from the intent and used to launch the activity, the autofocus and the use flash, we needed that. We also check for permission, the manifest permission for camera, if not granted, uh, is going to request the permission, you know, and lock to the tag that there's a camera permission not granted. So you're going to request for the permission for the camera. Now we have the on resume, the on pause, and the on destroy methods. The complete cycle of an activity on the on resume, the camera, the start camera source method is being passed into it, which is this that shows its security exception. No, this checks that the device has a Google Play service available. That means Google Play services is quite needed in the course of this application. Let's look at the Android manifest. Uh, this is a simple manifest whereby we log the activity, the barcode capture activity, very important. And we have the metadata, the GMS vision dependencies, and the GMS version. We also use the feature of the hardware which is the camera and we ask for the permission to use the camera i'll be uploading the source file to my github account and i'll be showing you some screenshot of this particular application because i actually tried it on a real device because of the uh integration or the needed google play services in your device here we go with the application we have the click read barcode at the top now we have the autofocus and the use flash. You can decide to toggle the auto, you, you need the autofocus so that it's going to actually pick up the uh, it's going to make the camera brighter and focus majorly on the barcode. We have the use flash, you can toggle that too. A click on read barcode will take you to this, we'll call on the barcode activity, which is the uh this is the ensuing activity. So this is actually going to call on the camera to take a snap. Of the barcode figure I actually use this on an android programming textbook whereby i actually uh, snapped up the barcode if you notice i have the barcode figure right there after that you click ok and the barcode will be read successfully so you can even improve more on the source file by calling having a call to action on the barcode figure either to a URL or a website or even uh, calling to buy the book or even creating a web interface that uh, the barcode figure will be pointed at or even uh, it can be to download the particular uh, app or something else. You can decide to tweak this and extend this further to have uh, a more robust barcode integration in your application. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.